Hi, it's Julia Cook and it's Friday. Today, I'm gonna deem today at my house official dress like your dog day. So Kirby and I are dressed alike and I just thought that'd get us all in a good mood. It's kind of funny, isn't it? See, she's got a little Levi jacket and she has a little pink shirt, just like me. We're kind of hanging together today. And today we're gonna talk about attitude and gratitude and attitude, baby. You know, when your attitude isn't all that great. Who do we have tuning in? There's Erin, I see Lissa. Let's see, where's she from? Wow, and Kylie, how are you? Oh, here's another one. All right. So we are going to set Miss Kirby Derby Derby down. And we're going to talk about batitude, attitude, and all those things. So here we go. So attitude is a little word with a huge meaning. You know, there's two kinds of people in the world. There's balcony people. And there's basement people. Balcony people always seem to find the good in situations. And, and it's a realistic good. And they seem to have a real positive attitude. And their eyebrows look normal. They look like this. Basement people have a unibrow. Their eyebrows are kind of frowning and it's all hooked together in one big long eyebrow. When I used to do something wrong when I was little, my mom would give me the unibrow. That I knew that I had done something wrong because of the way her eyebrows used to touch. But sometimes basement people, they walk around with the unibrow all the time. So right now with our situation going on, it's really important to do your very best to find the silver linings that are existing in this situation. Like, yeah, we can't go out with our friends and, and we can't do the things that we used to do, but we get to do a lot of other things that we never did have time to do. We get to spend time with our families. Um, you get to do things around your house and appreciate things around your house that maybe you've never done. I hope you're out walking and, and seeing the beautiful spring and seeing how it's, you know, all the flowers are coming out and all the birds are really happy. They don't know about this thing that's going on. So they're happy, they're doing their regular, but there's a lot of little gifts all along the way that we can use to turn our attitudes into gratitude. So let's start right now by reading this story called Batitude. My name is Norman David Edwards, but everybody calls me Noodle. Some days my life just stinks. I love to sleep in, but every morning my mom makes me get up about a hundred hours too early. School starts at eight. It only takes me 10 minutes to get there, so I could sleep in until 7.45 and be just fine. But no, I have to set my alarm for 6.50. Getting up early stinks. Then, when I get to school, I can't play video games at all, and that stinks. If I don't get my homework done, my teacher makes me stand for morning recess and do it. That stinks. Last night, I did get all my homework done, and I still had to stay in. Noodle, on this assignment, your answers need to be written in complete sentences. Complete sentences stink. I don't mind doing math and science, but social studies and spelling are the worst. Social studies bores me to tears. Why do I have to know all about that stuff that happened before I was even born? And spelling? Why do I have to know how to spell every word correctly? Isn't that what spell check's for? Then there's language arts. I actually think they gave it that name to make it sound more fun. It didn't work. Then, every single Friday, 
we have to take a spelling test along with a gazillion other tests. I seriously think my teacher's name is Mrs. Give Me Another Test Jones. Test stink. And to top it all off, my teacher made me sit my move my desk next to Marigold. Girls stink. Some days after school, my life gets even worse. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I have to go to soccer practice. I love to play in the games, but soccer practice stinks. Our coach makes us do all these dumb drills over and over and over again. Then we have to run about a gazillion miles. Then on Tuesdays, I have to go to my piano lesson. I don't even want to play the piano. I want to play the guitar. But my mom read in a magazine, if a kid wants to play an instrument, learning how to play piano is a great idea. The worst part about playing my piano lessons is that my teacher, Mr. Panini, has the stinkiest breath on the planet. Thursdays and Fridays aren't too bad. They're my free days. After school, I get to do anything I want to do. Today I went to Dominic's house to play, but he had too much homework. Homework stinks. So then I went to Reginald's, but he had to mow the lawn. Yard work stinks. I went to John's, but he wasn't home. Jake said he had the flu, and Curtis, he said he had to get all dressed up for family pictures. <laughs> family pictures really stink. I decided to go home and just play video games, but my battery was dead, and my mom had my charging cord in her purse. Dead batteries stink. I turned on the TV to watch Slime Man. A rerun? Reruns stink. Just then, my mom came home from work. How's your day, Noodle? she asked. It stunk, I said. Why? I got a detention for getting to school late. Had to miss morning recess because I made a few mistakes. Math and science went okay, but spelling was the worst. Social studies is boring, and my desk got moved by girls. My teacher gave us homework, and it's Thursday, my free day. Went to all my friends' houses, and none of them could play. Came home to play my video game, but you still have my cord. Slime Man was a rerun. Now I'm super bored. Cheer up, Noodle. Tonight we're having lasagna for dinner, your favorite. That stinks. I have dishes tonight. Takes me a gazillion years to get the lasagna pan clean. Cheer up, Noodle. I'm sure some of your friends can play tomorrow after school. That's a whole day from now. Cheer up, Noodle. Tomorrow's a school science fair. You have such a great project this year. Probably won't win. Science fairs stink. Noodle, does anything in your life smell good? You tell me that everything stinks, but I want you to stop and think. There's good everywhere, if you know where to look, even in the kitchen sink. Huh? Sounds like to me you have a batitude. A batitude? What is that? Batitude is short for bad attitude. Your face has a unibrow and you're in a bad mood. Nothing sounds good in your life today. You have batitude and it's getting in your way. Noodle, you get to choose how you see the world that you live in. The more you complain about things, the more things you're going to find to complain about. Your batitude is causing you to have a pity party, and you're trying to invite everyone around you, and I don't think anyone's going to show up. What? Noodle, in order to have a good life, you need to have a positive view of your future. You need to figure out how to change your batitude into gratitude and be more thankful for the world that you're a part of. Well, yeah, how do I do that? It's not hard, Noodle, to figure it out. You just have to do three things. Look for the positives in all situations. Life's not as bad as it seems. Then turn your orders into opportunities. Turn your have-tos into get-tos. And always remember, attitude is contagious. It spreads like the cold or a flu. If you wear a unibrow on your face, others will do the same. 
But if you choose to smile instead of frown, you're sure to win at life's game. What are you talking about, Mom? Well, getting up early during the week just makes sleeping in on the weekends that much more special. And your teacher wants you to be on time for school, because school is practice for life. Someday you're going to have a real job, and if you're, you won't be able to keep it if you don't show up on time. Learning more about social studies and spelling and language arts just makes going to learn about math and science easier and more fun. And my lasagna is going to make your mouth so happy your hands won't even mind cleaning up that pan. You get to learn how to play the piano, so when you do take guitar lessons, you'll be really good at it. You get to go to soccer practice and see your teammates during the week, get great exercise, it'll keep you healthy, and learn and develop new skills so you can become better. You get to be part of the science fair, and it's going to be so much fun. Noodle. Life is like looking into a thousand mirrors. If you give yourself a unibrow, a thousand unibrows are going to be staring back at you, and your life is going to stink. But if you smile when you look in the mirror, you'll be amazed at how many people smile back, and your life will start smelling a whole lot better. I went into the bathroom and looked in the mirror. My mom was right. I did have a unibrow. I decided to take her advice and work on switching my attitude to gratitude. That night, my mom helped me do the dishes, and that lasagna pan wasn't even that bad because my mouth was so happy. That was the best lasagna ever! I went to bed early, so getting up at 6.50 wasn't quite as terrible. I smiled when I aced my spelling test. Studying every day really did pay off. I used my new soccer move at recess and made a goal that made me feel pretty good inside. Maybe soccer practice isn't so bad after all. We actually did art in language arts today. Social studies didn't even seem that bad. I worked with Reginald, we got all our questions answered, and we even had time to spare. We wrote them out in complete sentences, and Reginald invited me over to his house to play after school. I didn't win the science fair, but I did get a third place medal. Maybe next year. Today, my life didn't seem quite as bad. I had a lot of fun, and I didn't get mad. I smiled at others, and they smiled back. My attitude's better, and I'm getting on track. My mom was right. I had bad attitude. It made me frown and even act rude. What my mom said to me really made me think. I realize now that my life doesn't stink. But I still can't play video games at school, and I still have to sit next to a girl. And that really, 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 really stinks. So I want to show you, I want to go back to this right here really fast while we're at the end of it. When he goes to his friend's house, first he goes to Dominic's house and he asks, hey, you want to play? And Dominic says, no, I have too much homework. But look, they're playing video games in the back. And, and then he goes to Reginald's and Reginald said, oh, oh, I have to mow the lawn. How many people mow the lawn with a skateboard and helmet and knee pads? And then he goes to John's, but he wasn't home, but look, he is. He's hiding. And he goes to Jake said he had the flu, and then Curtis said he had to get all dressed up for family pictures. In the store, it's Thursday, and this sign right here says family pictures on Saturday. What are his friends doing? His friends are actually avoiding him because... When you're a basement person, and when you only see negative, kids don't like to hang out with you. They like to hang out with people that are positive, that, that build them up. And, you know, one of the things, sometimes when I feel kind of down in the dumps, I remember this. The more I do for other people, the better it makes me feel inside. Because if I want to build my insides, I have to be able to look in the mirror and say, wow, I'm proud of myself for doing that. So here's a really good idea for you. If you want to switch your bad attitude into gratitude, or you want to feel a little bit better about yourself, think about some things that you can do to help other people. So um, here's an activity. Think about a random act of kindness. I have a friend 
who's 75. She doesn't like to go out right now. So I call her up and I say, what do you need at the store? And I go to the store and buy it and I set it on her porch. I don't talk to her. I don't hug her. I just set it on her porch. So she doesn't have to go out to the store. Then when I get back, I think, wow, I made a positive difference in the life of my friend Helen. So, um, you know, like my neighbor needed her yard weeded and didn't want to do it, so I snuck over there and pulled her weeds out of her, out of her planter. And I wrote that down on a piece of paper like this. And let's see, I swept the garage. My husband's like, oh, I have to go home and sweep the garage. Rah, 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 rah. When he came home, it was done. And I just did it to try to make him feel better because he's working really hard right now. And every time I did it, I write it down on this piece of paper. And then I make a random act of kindness chain. So here's my challenge to you. And from Kirby Chip. What we want you to try to do is think about all these things that you can do to give to other people, okay? When you give something to other people, you feel better about yourself. Then write them down and make a random act of kindness chain and try to get it to go all the way across your room in one week. Can you do it? I bet you can. I can't wait to see you guys on Monday for bookends. We're going to talk about soda pop head. You know, when you get so mad, you blow up. And then we're going to announce another list of a bunch of titles. We're going to keep doing this bookends through May 15th. So, just want to tell you all, thank you. If you want some ideas on Batitude, there's some ideas at TPT on at Julia Cook Encore. If you would like a signed copy of this book from me to you, just go to JuliaCookOnline.com and order the book, and it'll come through my house, and I'll sign it to you. And Kirby will put her paw prints in it, too. Signing off. Have a great weekend, and switch your Batitudes to gratitude. Love you guys. Bye.